I'm going to show you how to get Picasa to do a face movie. And first, I want to show you what's available with this feature. Okay, so here you see the title. And what Picasa does with a face movie is it centers around the face and moves from photo to photo, focused though on that face. And it's a neat feature. So let's, let's show you how to build it. this today. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Discard. One of the main things I've discovered is it's easiest to put the photos that you want into an album. This allows you to be able to select photos and come back to the project at another time. If you're dealing with a lot of photos, the best way to move to the end is like this. I'm going to go to the person just below him and then I'm going to scroll backwards. And now I can come in and grab just a few more items here. Remember I've got the control key down and so it's not selecting every single one. It's only selecting the ones that I click on to. Okay, you can also come back to it and do a left mouse click again and deselect that photo. Okay, I've got enough for now, and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add them to a new album. Tutorial Movie Album. And press OK. And so now up here in my albums area, I have these within this album. Now it's not all of them, it's just a few. So I'm going to go back down to the people area and I'm going to drag a few more and add them to the selected tutorial. Come down here and maybe let's add just a few more so you can select photos and come down here and again just add them to your album. This is one of the things I wanted to talk with you about. Several years ago, I settled on a naming convention that allows any computer, even DOS, or when burning to a DVD, to put photos or files in chronological order. And to do that, I name my files year, month, and then day in a description. And that allows whatever I'm doing for the name of the files to put them into chronological order. So I'm sitting here in my album and I'm going to do a right mouse click and I'm going to ask Picasa to sort the album by names and that is going to put them into chronological order. You can use something else but this is one I settled on because part of my photos are scanned photos and a date on those photos won't really put them in chronological order. So you can come close to it using that convention. Okay, the other thing we need to do is Picasso will not make a face movie while you're in the albums area. And here's the workaround. What you need to do is you need to do Control A to select all. You can also do a right mouse click to get at that feature here. Once you have them selected and showing in the tray down here, you need to come down and I'm going to click to move my pop-up and I'm going to use this selection to hold the selected items. Now I can move back down to the person album and though they aren't showing up here, they are selected because they're down here. But this gives me the ability to come up here to this button to create a face movie. So I'm going to select that. And there you can do a lot of different features with this, but there are some key ones you need to know. If you've already selected your photos, go ahead and put them in album order. You also need to slide this up to total photos included and because of your selection you need to run this down to where it's not filtering by time at all. I'm going to go ahead and allow it to include the low resolution photos. Now you also have to apply but before I do that I'm just going to take a look and see what we've got. 
they aren't in chronological order here. They're in selected order still. So I'm going to pause this to get my options back, and I'm going to go ahead and apply. This is not creating the movie. It's just making the changes that we had before. So now we'll be in chronological order, or the order within your album, however you select that. Now I'm going to go and pause it and come back to the movie tab. Here we can load audio and just look in your music file, find the song you'd like, and open it up. I like the dissolve transition, but you can do it how you want. So I'm going to add graduation there, and again, you can make lots of different changes here. And I'll just take a sample now. Okay, so now I can come back and I need to have it render the movie. So I'm going to create movie. And it pops up over here. First it's created a folder that it's going to keep the movies in. And now it's going to process through and run my movie. So I'm just going to come back to this. You can do other things while it processes if you have the computer speed. So Picasso has finished. Here's my movie down here. And if I select it, double click, it's going to start playing the movie again. Okay, I can edit it at this point, but I'm going to go back and show you what Picasso's done. It's made a folder where it will store its movies, and I'm going to do a right mouse click, and I'm going to locate on disk. Be careful of which item you select here because the delete is just under it. And this shows you where it was created on my computer. The MXF file, that's the file that tells Picasa how it created the movie. You don't need to pass that file unless you want to give someone the ability to edit it. But you'd also have to include all the photos that you used. If you wanted to pass along the photos that were used, just come up here to the album, just do a Control A, File, Export Picture to Folder, and you now have the option to tell Picasso where you want it to create this folder that will have all of the photos in it. If you don't have a simple naming convention like I did, go ahead and add numbers to the file names to preserve the order. Also, I would suggest use the original file size. It's so much better when the photos are really crisp and clear and then you can click export and it'll go about creating a folder where it puts all the photos that were from that album okay so that's the way to do a face movie again you have to be in the people area you can't be in folders or up in albums so just create your album you can even get it ordered the way you would like it to be if you're not dealing with named convention, you can order it just by dragging and dropping the photos around. And then you need to select all, control A, hold your selection, and go back to the people album for it to be able to focus in on that one face. Create your movie. Hope this helps you out.